I told you not to, to pick that shit up like that. But did I not told you to do <sighs> This shit is thick. This is kicking in. I think it's... Hello. Today, we had problem in laboratory. Some chemicals exploded here. And there is uh, this white dust everywhere. Uh, this dust is uh, influenciating our... Uh, Jeans or something. I don't. I do not know what is this, but uh, we all snore it. Uh, unfortunately, is not uh, our fault. We try not to touch it, but uh, it just went all over the place. Today, we teach you counterpoint. Counterpoint technique was created long time ago, but uh, we teach you today. We know we're uh, two centuries late, but uh, shit, this, this is kicking, this is kicking in, man. Uh, but uh, still, we teach you today. This was used by Beethoven, by Mozart, by many different composers, very known composers. They all use this kind of technique, counterpoint. We teach you how to do this today. Is part one, counterpoint. This is three part tutorial. I'll see you after you come back from the studio. Hey guys, so last time we talked uh, a little bit about counterpoint. We were just following a motif and we created a melody for our pad. So I hope you remember that two part tutorial. Uh, this time we're gonna do something different. We're gonna touch all the types, the different types of counterpoint and go more in depth to how, how to use counterpoint. So I'm using uh, the chord progression that I used on the other uh, pad uh, and chords uh, tutorial. Uh, I'll just show you the chord progression. And the pad. So today we're going to talk about different types of counterpoints and let's open up our first melody which there's nothing written on there yet but there will be we're about to write it so if I look at just my pad because that's my chords right that's my pad and so I want to focus on, yes, focus on uh, counterpoint. Melody over my little friend here, my bad. So, as you can remember, we are looking first for our thirds, then for our fourths and sevenths, then for our sixths and our seconds. That's what we're looking for. Counting form, yes, our pad. So this is our first or octave. This would be our second. As you can see, the blue, uh, the blue lines on the notes indicate what scale we're on. So we're in G minor, harmonic minor. So this would be my second, my A. A sharp would be my third. From here, right? From G. If I was uh, to work with this guy, this guy over here, which is A. Uh, my second would be A sharp, my third would be C, and so on. Now, uh, yes. First type, first type of counterpoint is note for note. Meaning, one note on the melody for 
one note on the cantus firmus. Cantus firmus being our pad in this case. So that's our first type. One note in the melody for one note in the cantus firmus. So I'm going to do that example. And I don't know how many examples and different types of counterpoint I can go in. So this is going to be more than one episode, obviously. But today I'm going to first go on this example and show you this example. So let's do this. So my favorite, obviously, is my third. Okay, that's my favorite. It's, gotta, it's the one that sounds better. So if I create a note here, I'm going to go with the... Uh, one fourth. If I create my notes here, I got that's my octave, my second, and my third. I'm going to choose that place. Then when I, when I get here, one note for this little fella here. So where am I going to go? Make sense of the, the stuff. I'm going to bring that here so it's in the same place when it gets to these. Uh, fourth bar. So, this is my second and my third, right? When I get to this body, I want a third, a note there as well on the third. So, second, third. And here, second, third. I'm still following the rule that I told you guys about. So, no more than three semitones apart, the notes from each other, right? second, third, and yep, I'm going to leave that there, actually I'm going to pull it back so it makes sense, so I'm kind of even better, I'm going to follow this motif here, this rhythmic pattern, which is taking up four bars in this case, and I'm going to duplicate and follow the same motif for the second part, right? Only I'm going to keep following that rule. So, second, third, right? Second, third. Oh, you don't want to be there, mate. It's one per one. So, here, second, third. Whoa, that's a big distance, right? So, what if I go, remember, thirds, fourth and sevenths then 6th and 2nd. So let's see if my 4th or my 7th uh, works on this case so that I don't have such a distance from one note to the other. Let's see, our 4th or our 7th. So 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 1, 2, 3. That's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to go with my 4th. Again, 2nd, 3rd, and I'm fine with 3rd for this guy. So it's going to sound like this. So that's my first melody, right? Using our first type of counterpoint. Now let's go into our second type of counterpoint. Now that there's different types. The first one, I'm gonna go through them really fast right now. The first one is note for note, like we just did. The second one is two or three notes. It, it's up to you, two or three, don't go under, don't go over. Two or three notes, which is what we're gonna do next. The third is four or six notes. The fourth is note by note. But the counterpoint may change and it can be syncopated. And then you got fifth one that is a mixture of all, all of them, right? Well, actually the fourth can be a mixture of all of them. So let's let's do our second one. And I'm not gonna do the third one actually. Maybe we have do we have time for everything? Now I'm gonna do the second one and maybe I'll do the third one. Right, let's get to it. So my second one is two or three notes on the melody per one note on the cantus firmus. So, I'm gonna go, and this is my third, right? So this is my fourth. And I'm gonna go back to my third. So I got three for one. Here, I want two for one, right? 
So I'm going to bring this one over here, and which is my third, right? Yes, that's my third, and this is my fourth for this guy over here, right? So this is my third. I'm going to bring it back here and use my fourth after that, right? This is my third. I'm also going to use two notes for this little guy, so third and fourth. This little guy is quite big, so um, it's not that little. <laughs> so I'm going to use my fourth and my third, and I'm going to go just like I went on this one, right? Repetition, guys, remember? It is music, music, repetition, you know? So this I'm going to go with two. So my, I'm going to bring this to my fourth, this to my third, because I'm going up on the first one. I'm going to go down here on the, on the last one. Uh, just for the sake of it, second, third, this is my fourth, I want at least two notes per one, right, fourth, and my third, and here is my second, third, and I can end with my fourth. So I've used, uh, well, let's, we don't need to have the same length on all of them, so I'll just create different lengths here. I don't even know if this instrument has sustain on it, but let's just create some something with different lengths. Lengths here. <laughs> So there's a melody right there. So this is the second type of counterpoint. We went to two different types, right? And this is our base one. On the next episode, we'll see the other two types, right? And uh, on the last episode, uh, I hope uh, that I can do a third episode where I'll show you the top melody. Because after this melody, we're going to create one on top. Okay, and there's different rules for the third melody. So I see you on the next one. <laughs> so, uh... So this is uh, counterpoint uh, one is finished uh, and um, counterpoint two is coming uh, next episode. Uh, right now I need you to subscribe uh, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed to this channel yet and subscribe to Portuguese channel. Yes, please do that. Also, I want you to donate. Donate to us. We need money so we can buy more chemicals and create more experience and do more things here in the laboratory. Yes, that's right. So you have to donate. If you do not donate, Mikael here is going to your house because we know your address and Mikael is gonna break your... Alright, if you cannot donate, you have no money, you can like and share video. That is very good as well, you can do this thing, is very good. Like, share video, okay? Now, this chemical is pissing me off, I have a very strong energy right now, I want to break the... F I want to break you, Mikael. Right, so now, so now, you go do that, go to our website, get... Our products, you have kick base gel, you know, it's very good machines. Uh, we also do mix mastering and uh, we do lessons through Skype. Two hours, 25 pounds. Yes, 25 pounds, British pounds. Yes, not other crappy pounds that are worthless, okay? British pounds, we need money, yes. Donations are in pounds as well. Everything is in, we only work pounds. Mm. So you go and do that, and uh, oh, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to do some more experiments with this shit, I like this shit. Oh yes, this is music, the theory 101. Using albino, and this is going to be the result.